My name is Ari Gronich. I'm known as The Performance Therapist, and I'm uh, talking today with a good friend of mine, Glenn Ackerman. He and I have been uh, business associates and friends for probably close to 20 years, 15, yeah. 20 years, and uh, from my old life in Los Angeles. And uh, we, we've done business together. We have uh, broken bread together. And Glenn is a guru in the personal development arena. He's uh, an NLP, NLP trainer and energy worker. He's got a lot of credentials behind his back. We've, um, we've done some pretty interesting business together as well as just been friends. And so I'm going to let Glenn uh, kind of give you his background. And we're going to be talking today about energy healing and this this new <clears throat> methodology that Glenn has created and uh, how it might be able to support you and your family during this whole uh, pandemic and crisis <clears throat> we're having. So let me give it off to Glenn and let him kind of give you his full background. Well, thanks, Ari. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, we can hear you great. Beautiful. Okay. Well, I appreciate you uh, uh, setting this up here. Just to give you a little, a little uh, background, uh, I've been in the personal development field now over, over 20 years now, maybe even close to 25. And I started, you know, just out of high school uh, because I had stuff inside me that I wanted to change. And I came from a very tumultuous household where there was a lot of love, but there was also a lot of tension and anxiety and stress. And I couldn't wait to get out of there. And I thought, well, you know, once I leave there, I can start living my own life. But even though, you know, I thought that I left that anxiety and the stress and the, and, and the upset, you know, at, at the house, at my parents' house, that anxiety, stress and worry didn't leave me. And, as I went out to make my way in life and, and went to college and, and got into business, uh, I recognized that, that there was a part inside me that, that was, uh, what's the word for it? The dysfunctional. In other, word, in other words, I would be able to, you know, operate and show up as someone who is strong and capable and, and a leader in many fields. But inside, I felt a lot of anxiety felt a lot of self-doubt. I was dealing with a lot of negative thoughts, a lot of what, what I call negative self-attack that was creating turbulence internally inside of me. And I wanted to get this thing out because it seemed in, in many times in my life in areas that I would take two steps forward and, and three steps back. And as I observed myself over the years, I realized there's some process or there's some force or there's something, there's something going on beyond what I can deal with or that I know how to deal with that's keeping me from having the life that I know I cannot, that, that, that it's my potential to have. So I went and threw myself into the self-development, personal development uh, worlds, uh, read you know hundreds of books on how to change, took courses, seminars, and, and uh, throughout you know, throughout the years, even became uh, uh, proficient and certified in these fields. Okay, so, um, you know, I don't know how many people watching this can get behind the fact that they've done a lot of work and it hasn't been exactly what they thought it was going to be. Like, it's not been the cure-all. It's not been the thing. It's been steps and little steps and little steps. And so I think a lot of people can understand the frustration that you had felt as you were going through all these processes. I know that I had, um, you know, I started doing EST when I was eight years old, uh, Landmark, Life Spring, uh, you know, before I was a teen. And, um, and I started in this profession by the time I was 17, I became a master herbalist and aromatherapist. And at 18 started going to school for massage and healing. So I kind of, you know, we, we parallel a little bit of that, that background and I know what it's like to, you know, feel like you're, you're doing so much work and you're only getting so much progress at a time. And so uh, what I'd like to, to hear from you is 
how do you accelerate that progress based on rather than doing, because we do a lot, right? But rather than doing, being aware of what is. So, you know, as you're talking, um, what I can tell is, is what people are aware of typically is the 10% at the top of the iceberg. They're not aware of the 90% below it. So how can you become more aware of what you're not aware of so that, <laughs> so that you can then, you know, clear and break that glacier up, that iceberg up, and have it dissolve quicker, faster, and with less damage? Well, you know, uh, Ari, you know, that's a great question. And uh, so let me take a stab at it. So when people come to me, usually they've tried a lot of different things and they've got a, usually they've got an issue that they're dealing with and uh, they haven't found a solution. Whether they've been here, been there, been this, and it, it, it's interesting that uh, part of my students, I have medical doctors who are students of mine, psychologists <clears throat> who are students of mine who want to learn energy awareness training. And the, the question I always ask them, I say, you know, you're, you're a medical doctor, you're a psychologist, and you're coming to me with a problem. Did you try, you know, solving it before? And they're all like, yeah, we, we, I, I tried everything I could, you know, that I had access to in the medical field and the psychological field, and I couldn't fix it. So I hear that you get results. So that's why, you know, somebody I knew worked with you. So that's why I'm contacting you. Well, here's the thing. So it, it comes down to this. You know, when we were in, a, in, in high school, our, our uh, science professor said, everything is energy. I remember it so well. Everything that we're dealing with in this world is energy. You know, and my, my biology class was right after lunch. So I was always half asleep when he was teaching all about biology. And I'm thinking, oh, that's great. Everything is energy. What does it have to do with me? And, you know, and, and uh, taking out Mary Lou to the dance Friday night or, you know, making the football team. I don't can't see that. Well, what's interesting is that is that one of the greatest scientists of, of the last century, Nikolai Tesla, said that if you want to understand the mysteries and the secrets of life, then you want to start looking at things in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Now, that really rung my bell because I recognize that in life, we are taught a linear process. We are taught, when we grow up, we're, we're taught, well, there's certain things that you do if you're gonna be successful and you're gonna be happy in this world. You use logic. You know, there's a linear process. You grow up, you go to school, go to high school, college, you know, get a job, get married, have kids. You know, there's a, a, a linear progression that we're supposed to be on. And we follow that linear progression using logic. We go to school to figure things out and to learn and using our five senses. So that works for a large part of life, but it doesn't work for another part of life where there's things that happen that aren't logical. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna break that up a little bit and just ask you. So sure, false negatives and false positives. So how do you know if what you're feeling as far as the energetic red flags is your trauma or is it real? And um, and so you're getting false negatives or false positives and if everything happens for a reason, as some people have, uh, you know, would say, everything happens for every, uh, a reason, then um, is it, does it behoove you to bypass the lesson that you may get from having the experience or, <laughs> or you know, is, is it good to just be born with the silver spoon enjoy a pleasant, positive life for your entire life and not ever have to worry about a lesson. So one of the things that I've always said is if I was born with a silver spoon in my hand, it wouldn't have bothered me. I would have enjoyed and appreciated a good life. I've, un I've fortunately and unfortunately had a plethora of experiences, both positive and negative, and my question is, if I were to have reacted to what I thought was an energetic, 
pull against the thing I was doing. Should I have listened to the false positive or the false negative? <laughs> we're, we're going down the rabbit hole. All right, so, look, 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 so let's get to that. There's about seven questions in here. So let me start. What, what was the first one? Well, let's, let's just, you know, pull it back to false negatives, false positives. If you feel something and, it, and, it, and you're, that voice inside your head says no, right? Is that your trauma and, or is it a, a real thing? And, which, and how do you know and which do you listen to? Beautiful. Let's start there. So in, in describing energy awareness training, there are certain principles which this is founded upon that are, that are uh, clear and obvious, but we never think about them. One of them is that everything's energy. Number two, in this planet, we're living in the, under the law of duality or polarity, okay? Which means, you know, if I'm dealing with light, I got to deal with darkness. If I'm dealing with the male, I'm going to be dealing with female. If the tide goes in, the tide goes out, left, right, good, bad, night and day. So everything that we're dealing with, everything which is energy, no matter what it is, whether it's a relationship, you know, a business, a health challenge, a sports, whatever it is, all of it's an energetic process. And these energetic processes have a duality or polarity to them. You know, in sports, winning, losing, being in shape, being not in shape, cha you know, champion, loser, all of these things. So, so if everything's energy, then, then at least in this world, then energy is, is a duality too, has a polarity, which is a high, has a high vibration, which is what Tesla said, you know, energy vibration. So well, let's break that down. Energy, vibration, and frequency. So, th so there's what I call a high vibration energy and a low vibration energy. And these are codes for the energetic experience we have. The high vibration energy is happiness, joy, peace, health, abundance, uh, full connection, uh, uh, inner peace. All of the things that we want, all of the things that, that ha make us have a good life. And it shows up as kindness, as compassion as oneness, uh, uh, as gratitude, et cetera. So that's a little bit of the code of how the high vibration energy works. It's, it's, there's a lot more than that, but let's just have that be our example. Well, if there's a high vibration energy, then there's going to be a low vibration energy too. And that low vibration energy is going to be the polar opposite of the high vibration. If you can, then you're going on 20% of the information and you're likely going to step in a trap as so much of the time we do. So I'm going to just, uh, just to finish off, I'm going to take it back to uh, our current pandemic situation. So I've been a big um, uh, advocate against, or activist, I guess, against the, the media currently and their campaign of fear. And so when you're when you're looking at the campaign of fear that's been spread, whether uh, accurate or not, um, what would be a good immune system boosting, whether energetic immune system or not, immune system boosting response to the fear that people are experiencing right now with regards to uh, to COVID. That's another great question, Ari. You're, you're, you're hitting them out of the park today. So I want, I want you to understand for, for everybody who's listening that there's two factors you're dealing with here. Remember, it gets back to what we started, the law of duality, the law of polarity, the two factors. There's the actual threat of the virus itself, and there's the thinking, the energy, the thoughts around it. Now, 90% of the world or more isn't going to get the virus. But 100% of the world has been infected by the energy, by the thinking of what you're talking about. So I don't think it, it, nobody needs any help to know what to do about it physically. I think we all know mask up, keep your social distance, wash your hands, etc. But what you can do right now is not fall 
into the low vibration energy pandemic. That's the pandemic. The pandemic is fear, worry, stress, doubt. All you have to do is watch the news, you know, any of the news channels for more than 20 minutes and your, your immune system will literally drop. That can be measured by, by exposing yourself to death, sickness, disease, threats. What kind of energy is that? What have you guys learned? It's low vibration energy. What is low vibration energy going to give you more of? Low vibration energy. So what I'm teaching all my students to do is be aware of what's happening. You know, if you, you got to watch the news, great. But at all times, be able to clean your energy. And I do that through a series of breathing, uh, uh, through uh, some uh, point manipulation. There, there are a lot of ways to do that. I'm sure you, you know some of them are you, you do it yourself. But I have a program that does that. So that every day, just like you take a shower, you got to clean off that dirt. You've got to clean off the mental low vibration energy that's trying to affect you, that's trying to keep you down. Now, that, that I want to alert you, that's on both sides. So you want to be aware of the, the, the energies that, that, that the authorities are, are saying, okay, the, you know, hey, don't go outside. Like, you know, is it true? I don't know. But I'm not going to be, be worried. I'm going to be careful. But I'm not going to be under the covers and go, oh, my gosh, I better not go outside. On the other hand, I'm not going to get sucked into these guys who are going, the virus is a, it's a hoax. You know, let's everybody go back to work and be normal. Forget about it. That's as dangerous as the other side. So, so high vibration energy is always in the middle. You know, it can, it, it's not attached to one side or the other. It wants the characteristics of safety, of health, and peace of mind. And you can only get that if you're cleaning and moving energy. So I was saying that says nothing changes until energy moves. So you want to get out of the thinking and be able to start moving energy, whether it's through exercise, through meditation, through breathing exercises, or any of the things that we teach. Awesome. You know, I, I wish we had more time to, to talk because we could go on and on and on. One of the things that um, maybe next time if we do this again, um, I'm going to ask you to do it near your piano because you can demonstrate low and high vibration uh, via, via the music that you play. It's one Indeed. of my favorite things about you is, is your playing of, uh, of that particular instrument. I remember being at your house many, many years ago and listening to you play. So um, anyway, uh, you know, that, that's, a, that's a great way to end. And, um, you know, if Let's do it again. Let's do it again, or I'll bring my piano. Yeah, if there's anybody who has any questions uh, for us, you know, even if you're watching the replay and you ask some questions, we'll be glad to answer anything. But Glenn, how, does, how do people get a hold of you if they want to do more with you or learn more from you? Uh, they can reach me through my email at uh, energytitan at gmail.com. Two words, energytitan, T-I-T-A-N, at gmail.com. And as you can see, I'm on Facebook. Uh, and uh, I have a YouTube channel, uh, which you can uh, subscribe to. And uh, uh, I'm all about getting the word out to this. So you're going to be hearing a lot about energy awareness training in the future. I'm working on a book. And uh, I'm working on, on rolling this out because uh, it's a mission. And what, what I do is a mission. I, I'm committed to ending emotional suffering in our lifetime. And that's absolutely possible if you have energetic tools. There's no need for people to suffer emotionally. Now, we can't avoid pain because pain's you know, a, a necessary tool, unfortunately, in this world uh, as part of the life process. But we don't have to suffer. And I know that, that if I knew this, you know, I would have saved myself 10 to 15 years of some suffering. But, you know, it happened for a reason for me to be able to develop this. So that's my gift to the world. And, and I, I long to be able to teach kids this so we can have a, a, a world of more peace, more kindness, and more high vibrational energy. And, and uh, I think that will change the world. So I appreciate you. Uh, having me on Ari and, and uh, having this time with you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I'm going to uh, 
go to uh, turn off our Facebook Live right now. And um, I just want to say, like I said, if anybody has any questions, feel free to, uh, to ask them in the chat room. Um, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about living your passionate life, this is my book, A New Tomorrow, Activating Your Vision for a Better World. And it's really about how to do it. It's like step-by-step -step kind of guide to how to create that life that you really want to live. And um, with that, I am going to say good night. Uh, like I said, any questions you might have will be will feel free to uh, to answer them. So I'm going to stop the live stream right now. And thank you guys so much. Have a healthy day.